Few facts about kudu. Number 1. Species diversity. The term kudu refers to two species of woodland antelope. The greater kudu tragelophus strepsiceros and the lesser kudu tragelophus imberbus. The greater kudu is larger and more widespread. Number 2. Spiraled horns. Both male and female kudus have long, spiraled horns. The male's horns tend to be larger and more impressive, while the female's horns are smaller and more slender. Number 3. Habitat range. Kudus are found in various habitats, including woodlands, savannas, and grasslands across eastern and southern Africa. Number 4. Distinctive white stripes. Greater cutis are characterized by white vertical stripes on their bodies, creating a striking contrast against their brownish gray fur. These stripes serve as a form of disruptive coloration, helping them blend into the dappled light of the forest. Number 5. Social structure. Kudu are generally solitary animals or form small groups. Male kudus may form bachelor groups, while females and their offspring form small herds. Number 6. Adaptations for concealment. Cutis have a cryptic coloration that aids in concealment. Their coat color and markings provide effective camouflage in their natural habitats. Number 7. Elongated ears. Cutis have large, elongated ears that enhance their ability to detect sounds, including potential threats such as predators. Number 8. Dietary preferences. Cutis are primarily browsers, eat on leaves, shoots, fruits, and bark. Their specialized jaw structure allows them to efficiently consume a variety of vegetation. Number 9. Mating rituals. During the mating season, male cutis engage in elaborate displays, including vocalizations and sparring with their impressive horns, to compete for the attention of females. Number 10. Nomadic behavior. Cutis exhibit a degree of nomadic behavior, moving in search of food and water sources. This behavior is influenced by seasonal changes and resource availability. Number 11. Predator awareness. Cutis are highly vigilant and have a keen sense of hearing and sight. They are alert to the presence of predators and can quickly flee when sensing danger. Number 12. Water dependency. While they can survive in arid environments, cutis are dependent on a regular source of water. They need to drink frequently, and their movements are often influenced by the proximity of water sources. Number 13. Gestation period. The gestation period for cutis is around 240 days, after which a single calf is usually born. The mother hides the calf in vegetation for protection during its early days. Number 14. Jumping ability. Cutis are known for their remarkable leaping ability. When startled or threatened, they can jump to impressive heights and distances, aiding in their escape from predators. Number 15. Communication methods. Cutis use various vocalizations, including barks and grunts, as a means of communication. These sounds serve to convey warnings, establish territory, and communicate with herd members. Number 16. Scent glands. Cutis possess specialized scent glands on their faces and foreheads. These glands play a role in marking territory and may also be involved in communication during the breeding season. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel.